Brainwash with Dr. Tom and Guitar Picks with Brad Reeves, Chet Atkins, Red Wing. Oh, yes, Chet. Again. But this is a good little Chet tune. And uh, this style, again, was introduced to me by a guy in New York that I studied under for a while. After I had already been playing guitar for like 10 years, I figured, you know, I really ought to take a guitar lesson from somebody. <laughs> And I had a degree in music already and still had never taken a guitar lesson. And I happened on this guy's name, Danny something. He was studying at the time under Ella Fitzgerald's guitar player. And he was a jazz player, but he played a particular kind of jazz. And here's one of the songs that he taught me. different for me was notice no blues based anything in that mm-hmm. no um no doobie brothers <laughs> power chords you know of their time uh, no um not a single nashville flavoring in any of it no bluegrass it was a very sophisticated got the moving bass line in there put all kinds of different colorations in it. It's got chord voicings that made a theory major very, very happy. I saw recently someone was talking about great bluegrass, current bluegrass pickers mm-hmm. in Nashville. It was one of those shows I was watching, and and um, it wasn't one of the Nashville pop country things. This was one of the ones, no glitz whatsoever, minimalism on stage where they were filming this thing, mm-hmm. and it was all about the pickers, and there were no overdubs, you know. Mm-hmm. And they had to move the camera back a couple of times because some of these bluegrass pickers play so fast <laughs> to get sparks, and you don't want to get them that close to the camera. <laughs> And sometimes you get a bolt of lightning, and that might be Ricky Skaggs playing because he is so good, and uh, he's you know he's a picker's picker in that mm-hmm. style. Well, a few years back, I was watching the Grammys, and uh, Ricky Skaggs was in a category competing against Chet Atkins, and and Ricky won the Grammy that night. Of course, Chet had won I don't know how many Grammys, but I'm sure he had won his share of Grammys along the way. Mm-hmm. And when Ricky Skaggs went up to the podium, here's this you know this big auditorium full of industry professionals Mm -hmm. and he stands up he goes i I appreciate this award and for you guys voting for me but he says chet atkins the best guitar player i've ever heard in my entire (laughs) life and that was his way of saying okay guys you put me up there with chet uh there's a song that one string over the band i'm in does that goes it's called So Nice to Come Home To, and it's a good little swing number. It's in a, like a, cha- a Django Reinhardt type uh, uh, style. Mm-hmm. But same kind of thing, different chord different chord voicings and I had not been exposed to these a lot of these are are like four note chords like that played with the fingers or you can do it with a pick Um, and two what opened me up to that style I still don't consider myself a jazz player because again those guys are specialists and they spend their life doing that mm-hmm. uh, but i do use some of those stylings being a singer it's nice when you play solo especially to be able to play bass lines mm-hmm. it gives it more depth of course i have played in bands with bass players and they would lean over and they would say you get off of my part (laughs) (laughs) and usually bass players are big you know (laughs) and so i would say i'll try 
<laughs> but that's the kind of thing that that uh, I like about the style, and I have to get away from sometimes. But Chet, Chet's one of the granddaddies in that style. Phenomenal player. Um, the guitar that I am playing is a an Ernie Ball Music Man. Actually, it's signed by Steve Morse from the Dixie Dregs, uh, mm-hmm. who also played with Kansas. It's 41 from 50. And I don't have it for that reason. Mm-hmm. I have it because I, because I played Les Pauls for years. And mm-hmm. uh, being a songwriter, I was doing a lot of demo work about 10 years ago. And I wanted a single coil pickup song, I mean guitar. Uh, the Les Pauls, a, a humbucker dual coil pickup guitar. Mm-hmm. And I walked into a friend of mine's music store, and I was cruising the rack looking to see and maybe thinking of buying a Stratocaster or a Telecaster or something similar to that. Mm -hmm. And this guitar was hanging there. Well, this guitar has one, two, three, four pickups. Two of them are humbuckers, and they Mm -hmm. have switches so you can switch them to single coil or double coil. And it's got... It's got a lot of bells and whistles, which is typical of Steve Morse. And this was the guy's guitar, personal guitar mm-hmm. that owned the store. And so we worked out a trade, and um, I came in there that afternoon, and the Les Paul was sold. That's why he knew the Les Paul would sell right away, whereas this is a little more esoteric. Yeah, You know, it doesn't even have Fender on it, although the man who created Fender guitars is who started Music Man, but not everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's where I got this guitar. He calls me occasionally and says, if you ever want to sell that guitar, remember, I want it back. (laughs) Because he had needed the money, apparently. And he called me like two days after I traded with him and said, "Uh, man, listen, uh, you want to sell that guitar? And he obviously had gotten some money. And I said, no, I've just gotten used to it. So if you're out there listening, I've still got the guitar. And no, I don't want to sell it. 